All right, Aprilia Shiver 750 V-Twin versus Triumph Street Triple 675 three-cylinder. Pete, you had a lot of miles on that one. How do they stack up? Uh, they're two different bikes, obviously. <clears throat> Not just in the engine, but in their character. Um, there's just something about the Triumph. Even though it's kind of styled and designed around the Cuban thing from the Brits, it really does draw the hooligan out of you, I think, at least me. Um, because it's a revier engine, being an inline uh, triple, you hear that exhaust note, that intake note, just sucks it right out of you. So I want to ride it fast and aggressively, all the way to the throttle stop, whenever possible. Um, transmission's great, you can bang down through the gears. It's not a slipper clutch, but it really doesn't resist all that uh, much when you do a couple of sloppy downshifts. It takes it really well. Um, the Aprilia, still a great transmission and clutch. Uh, gives a little more feedback though um, when you uh, perform an aggressive downshift, I've noticed. So, you know, V-twins, more compression braking. Right, so you have these different characteristics between these two bikes. Not yeah. an easy call because they both offer a lot of good things and different things too. So they're not aiming for the same thing. Yeah, that's the one uh, you'll get more tickets on. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, the Shiver, by comparison, uh, it's not that you don't want to ride it, but the Street Triple makes you just want to thrash the nuts off it. The Shiver is more of a, of a gentlemanly kind of uh, bike, maybe less hooligan, more, more of a standard style, multi-purpose bike. Absolutely. I calling it uh, livable, everyday livable, because the rider triangle is much more open. Um, bars are a little bit wider. There's a further distance from the seat to the foot pegs. Um, I'm centered over the saddle more than I am on the Triumph. The seat is much better on the Aprilia. It's got better foam, better padding. The step in the seat um, that accommodates the passenger pillion also acts as a nice scoop to hold you in it as well. If you're doing wheelies or something? You know, yeah, that's obviously. <laughs> but just whacking the throttle open, going down the freeway, you can feel it push you back into that uh, that step. And, it, and it's basically what I'm saying is that the Prilly has a, a probably has a better rider ergo package than yeah. the uh, Triumph. And I think you commented as well, Kevin, that you can really notice the difference in the peg seat relation when you got on the Triumph. Huge difference. A lot more uh, bunched up with your knees crunched together on the street triple. This one you can do uh, longer highway miles without uh, getting some cramps. And the wind blast really isn't that bad either, uh, even though it's very open. No, you can do 80. Anything more, you start to feel it. Uh, but it uh, doesn't feel just as revvy and racy. More of that V-twin loping torquey power. Right. In, even though they're different in that respect from one another. What I like about these engine configurations, I'm a really big fan of singles, twins, and triples. They're both really manageable. They're tractable bikes. Yeah. They're easy to manage the throttle as opposed to a peak here in line four. And I thought about it as we hear them come up the road now. As I was riding the Shiver, um, you know, I just, <laughs> the inline fours are a lot of fun to ride and you can slam the throttle open all day on these GSX-Rs and R1s. But for everyday living, as far as I'm concerned, you can't beat two bikes like these. these. This is where I would spend my own money. And kudos goes to Triumph for like a really magical motor. Even though this is a bigger, the Aprilia has a bigger displacement V-twin, should out-torque that handily. Uh, there's just so much power on that Street Triple anywhere. Good quick revving and yet torquey power everywhere. Yeah, it feels, like I said in the uh, the single bike review, this it just feels like a bigger motor. It feels like it has more power than what a, you know, a middleweight would put out. Definitely. So, good bikes for both. Uh, uh, you could do almost anything on them. Shiver maybe is more practical. The Hooligan, Street Triple. If that's your thing, that's where you want to go. No losers here. Dude, we're going so fast with that straightaway right there.